Welcome. My name is Lillian Silva, and I'm a postdoctoral research fellow at the Animal Science Department at Auburn University. On this webinar, I'll be talking about rhizoma perennial peanut. So let's start with a general overview. Rhizoma peanut is a perennial legume with high yield and nutritive value that it is originally from South America and is well adapted to the U.S. Gulf Coast region. In the past, there has been some resistance to its adoption due to high costs and slow rates of establishment. Currently, new technologies and varieties allowed its incorporation into forage systems. Rhizoma peanut can be used for hay production or under grazing management. It is widely spread on warmer regions as further south due to climate conditions, especially in Florida. Floyd Grazy was the first variety released in USA and it is still the most planted nowadays. Currently, the University of Florida has an ongoing Rhizoma peanut cultivar selection program for ornamental and forage purposes. Rhizoma peanut goes dormant on fall, usually just after the first strong frost, which in the South USA might just happen in the middle of December or later, depending where you are located at. For example, these pictures were taken in early December in 2018 at Hague, Florida, which is in the central uh, region of the state. Then, rhizoma peanuts regrows on early spring, depending on site conditions and temperature. There are several rhizoma peanut varieties available or current under research. Generally, Differences between varieties make them better suitable to a specific use. For example, here on the left, we have a picture of Chico, and on the right, UF Chito varieties. UF Chito has taller and more upright canopy, which favors hay harvest, while Chico has short and dense canopy that should be more suitable to graze management. There are other characteristics that needs, uh, need to be addressed when selecting varieties to each purpose. So for the goal, maybe one of the criteria one may consider when uh, choosing which variety to use. Moving on, let's uh, understand better rhizoma penalty requirements for stand establishment. Similarly to any other forage, prior to planting, soil pH and fertility must be tested because it's crucial that lime and fertilizer um, application is done as recommended. Soil preparation is important, especially if areas that were previously uh, planted to sod-based grasses, which which leads us to the importance to also control previous vegetation well. The recommended uh, practice is to use a non-selective herbicide that will provide a cleaner seed bed to start with. There are limited options of herbicides that can be used on rhizoma peanut stands, especially during establishment, without risking dam damaging it. If needed, during establishment, uh, mechanical con control by mowing is a good option to control broadleaf weed infestation, but it's important to mow above the rhizoma peanut canopy high uh, to avoid damage on the canopy. Rhizoma peanut is established by vegetative propagation using rhizomes. Rhizomes are energy storage structures for the plant. Rhizomes, uh, which this structure uh, provide energy to, to grow new sh shoots during establishment. On nurseries that provide uh, planting material, 
stands are left without cutting for at least a growing season to allow plants to accumulate reserves aiming uh, fast to have enough storage to provide fast establishment. Usually, for planting material, rhizomes should be thick and healthy, and uh, this is also observed in well-managed managed mature rhizoma peanut plant pastures, as the figure shows uh, here. And plant, planting rate is 80 bushes of plant material per acre. So now let's talk about uh, forage production. In monoculture, forage yield of rhizoma peanut ranges from 7,400 to 12,200 pounds per acre per year, with digestibility ranging from 68 to 72 percent and crude protein from 15 to 18 percent. These parameters reflect in improved animal performance. In previous studies, have showed average daily gain, gain from 1.3 to 2.1 pounds per day per head. On this graph, I'm showing the forage yield variation among six cultivars that were managed under hay production with two cuts per year. These numbers are average of two summer seasons and were part of my PhD work. So since Brazoma peanut is a legume, it is able to fix nitrogen biologically, which reduces the need for nitrogen fertilizer input into the forage system. Brazoma peanut can fix up to 200 pounds of nitrogen per acre, depending on the management used. This input of nitrogen promotes greater nutritive value, reflecting in animal performance, and higher nutrient return to pastures, which also increase forage accumulation and quality. But in order to benefit from rhizoma peanut pastures, it is important to know adequate, adequate management strategies to apply. Under grazing management, the general recommendation for continuous grazing is to allow four, four inches stubble high. However, this requires close management to guarantee stand longevity. Under rotational grazing, one should apply interval of growth between five to six weeks, and stubble high is also four inches. Rhizoma peanut is competitive with warm season grasses as Bermuda grass and Bahia grass, and can be planted as mixed systems with them. This helps to improve diet quality for animals under grazing. Besides, rhizoma, pe uh, rhizoma, rhizoma peanut stands can be overseeded with cool season species on fall using a no-till drill, which helps to extend the grazing season and provide high quality feed during winter. Because rhizoma peanut can compete well with grasses, a common practice is to use a strip planting method to establish st uh, mixed stands of rhizoma peanut and bahia grass or bermuda grass. As you can see on the top right picture, grass strips are either harvested are killed using herbicide for them plant rhizoma peanuts there. This method helps to decrease establishment costs because rhizoma peanuts can spread well horizontally and mix with um, the rest of the stand with time. Major advantage on this mixed system is that increases biodiversity 
and nutrient return to pasture because of the higher quality diet. This increase in nutrient return also improves forage accumulation, especially on low input systems. So in summary, Rhizoma peanut is a perennial legume with high nutritive value reflecting in greater animal performance. Rhizoma peanut can be used under hay production or grazing management and planted into mixtures with grasses. Rhizoma peanut improves nutrient cycling and sustainability of forage systems because, because it is able to fix nitrogen through uh, biological fixation and increases biodiversity. Lastly, proper establishment and management favors long stand persistence, which justifies initial high costs. I hope you have enjoyed this webinar, and if you have any questions, please do not hesitate and get in touch with me.